All right, guys, welcome to the Andro Views premiere of my blind Let's Play for Blade Slinger. Um, before I go ahead and get into the story, I will admit that I played the first chapter. So this video is not where my blind Let's Play will begin, but every video after this will be a blind Let's Play. So let's jump into the story, normal mode. It says Homecoming, Chapter 1. After years of war, William has... Oh, sorry. William returns home to Hammer's Peak to find that things aren't as he left them. Now, as far as the waiting time in this game, I think it's very ridiculous. I mean, some people might argue, oh, it's because it's a big game. But I think that's no excuse because I've played big games on Android that have less waiting time. I mean, it's still loading. Like, still loading. Come on. All right. The Blade Slinger had returned home to Hammer's Peak. A reward for his courage in a war he'd hoped to have left behind. Finding the train station strangely deserted, he sensed his days of war may not be behind him after all. All right, so I'm going to choose traditional. Like I said, none of this is a surprise, so I don't need any of this. Alright, so the first thing that I want to um, talk about is the graphics. I think the graphics here are, are pretty sublime for Android. Um, I mean, they're not going to be PS3 graphics. That should be expected, but they're still pretty amazing. And here's this random guy. Now, I don't like the design of the creatures. I think that they are, um, I don't know. They don't look like they, they're they unique. They look very ununique, I guess. I feel like I've seen this creature before in another game. Okay, it's just tutorial telling me the different things I can do by playing. His sword play is always it was always nice to me when I first started this game. I love his sword play; it looks pretty cool. Okay, so now they're just telling me I can tie together everything to make combo. Come on, you should die quicker than this. All right, there he goes. Sorry for the lagging. That? I better get into town and find my brother Morgan. He'll have answers to all this. I hope he's okay. Yeah, it lags um the more it loads things for me. Uh let's see. I think this is the right way. Sometimes I get turned around in adventure games without expecting to. But I believe this is the right way. Alright, another enemy. Alright. Come on. I love this blaze aura of the the um blade that he uses. And I think the blade that he uses is his gun. I think he's I think it's the gun and the blade are the same. So those things, these are finishers. If you draw the path correctly, you can finish their final bar. And uh I think you get more stuff too. Okay, here's my pause menu. There's me to go to the pause menu. Okay, they're telling me to buy health remedy, which I really don't need it, and they're forcing me to use it, and back to gameplay. Okay, so, um, I'm, I should encounter some more enemies. Here's another problem I have with this game. Um, one problem is the dubbing. I don't think that the dubbing really fits as far as, um, the chick who narrates, I feel like her tone isn't really right for the game. And I feel like the guy himself sounds kind of cliche for the way he looks. So that's one problem. And the other problem that I have is, um, where are all the people? I feel like there should be, um, if, if they're not dead, then there should be some live people walking around here. And considering that these monsters may have killed everyone, or at least a lot of people, there, there should be some bodies laying around, but there are no bodies. So I think it's huge, um... A huge hole in the storyline that they did that I mean a lot of people are lazy with that kind of thing but don't pay attention to the fact that it equals plot hole so I don't know great job kerosene oh shoot missed that one didn't draw the whole check come on let's try this again should take only one. Oh my gosh I still didn't do it it's fine he's dead now Okay, which way am I going? Is it this way? Uh, no, wrong way. This way, I think. Okay. 
What's up ahead for me? Yeah, this is this is the right way. Hmm. Can I walk into houses or buildings or whatever this is? Huh. No, oh, I guess I can't. Well, that that's gonna annoy me. I hate games where I see all these buildings and you cannot have access to either of them. All right, so I'm almost nearing the end. What? Oh, yeah, okay, I remember this part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They basically start you off like super powerful, I guess. Well, with the blaze or of the um, blade and your health is full and your um, your energy is full. But uh, what basically what they just did now is I guess they added a reason for me to play for these upgrades and things. Because now my max health and max energy have been downgraded. So I guess they want me to upgrade this. Yeah, and if you pay attention, the aura of my sword is not even as great anymore. It, it has definitely changed. Yeah, I, I'm still tripping off the fact there's no people. I mean, but come on. Let's kill this guy already. <laughs> and these get more complicated. But looks like they just changed it up on me. What's the little green thing? Okay, yeah. I missed over this before, but this is a spirit stone. Um, it says collect the spirit fragments that are scattered around Hammer's Peak. Fragments will combine to make a single spirit stone. And there's a single spirit stone at the top. It has various uses like buying upgrades. Okay, so let's continue with the story. Let's see. I'm wondering about that circle though. I haven't found out anything about these circles, but I mean, obviously those are what drained my power. So I guess the further I go into the let's play, the more I'll learn about these circles. All right, guys. So this is the final part of chapter one. Um, this part's not too tough. Basically, all I have to do is um, dodge side to side while shooting them. Um, the, I'll admit, a couple of days ago when I first played this chapter, I did um, lose a lot of health. But I don't think I should lose too much health doing it now. I mean, they did take a lot of health just from just now. Oh, I guess I killed them all that quickly. Let's see. Looks like I've unlocked something. Show. Quick draw. An extra revolver shot before reload. 10% increase rate of fire and reload speed. Okay. So that's a nice upgrade right off the bat. Hey, look. Another one of those green things over there. Wait. Is that one of them? Yipper. Okay. Spirit fragment. Excuse me. Not green thingy. Okay, I think that this ends the chapter right here. Um, tap on you tap on the door. Hopefully, there are some people inside here. I'm gonna die if there aren't. So that ends um, the premiere of this game, chapter one complete. After my stats, I guess I'll end the video there. Alright guys, I'm out.